Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you've tuned in to watch. This is Warren, Light You Collects, bringing you another video. Um, just had the postman arrive, a uh, couple of nice bits that I was looking forward to getting. So really, really pleased that they've turned up. Um, took their while, but, you know, kind of expected at the moment. Um, still waiting on a couple of other nice bits, but not in any particular rush for them. So, without further ado, let's crack on and see what we've got. So, the first one is from the London Mint Office. And we can see here, never was so much owed by so many to so few. And obviously you can see a lot of the um, soldiers in front of RAF. Um, this was actually part of, uh, it's part of the set, you know, the Battle of Britain set from the uh, London Mint office. Um, you get the f first one free, you just pay for your postage. Um, just, you know, a warning again, anybody that's doing this and just intending to get the free one, please, please, please do remember um, to make sure that you cancel the others. If you don't and you've just ordered the first one, then they will send you the others and they're priced at about 35 quid a, a pop. Um, so it really is important that if you are ordering these, you do remember to cancel them. Um, but yeah, looking at this, it's really nice. I love the detail on it. It's it's really pretty. It comes in a lovely little capsule. Uh, you do also get, I won't show you, but you do also get a display folder that if you were collecting the full set, um, you could display them in a in a display folder. Um, but as I only did it for the freebie, um, there's really not much point in me showing you that. So let's flip her over and see what we've got. So this is a Gibraltar 2020 half crown. Um, and we see, again, lovely portrait of the Queen. Is that a mark on it? I think it's on the casing. Um, yeah, so again, just a, a really, really nice, well-rounded coin. Um, really nice, really happy with that. Kind of keeping in with the uh, theme for the week, isn't it? Um, we had some World War I uh, banknote yesterday from Germany. And now uh, carrying it on with this one. So again, you know, it's always uh, an important message, isn't it? Never was so much owed by so many to so few. Um, yeah, it's quite poignant, I think. Anyway, moving on. And we'll show you what else came. Um, obviously a little bit later than everybody else has got these, but never mind, we got one in the end. And this is a beautiful, beautiful um, Remembrance Day coin. The Remembrance Day 2020 UK £5 brilliant uncirculated coin. The Unknown Warrior. And I've got to say on the on the subject, I absolutely adore. Um, I don't know what you'd call them. Um, I don't know if you'd call them statues that have been scattered around. Um, you know, just the black silhouette. Um, they've been scattered around the places um, during this remembrance i think they are absolutely beautiful and i love them and i think i think that they should be up permanently you know they should stay there um funny story actually what i'll do is i'll open this up and we'll talk, tell you a funny story um so not last weekend the weekend before i went over to west sussex to visit my brother and his family for the weekend um and i was driving down the road on the way there um, going part actually, you know, sort of two minutes from his house to an old primary school that we used to go to. Um, and it's got quite a big iron bridge that goes up across the road that you walk over to, to get to access to the school. It's only access to the school. So when the school's shut, the, uh, the bridge is locked up. 
um, and I was driving down there and I could see all these poppies hanging over the edge of the bridge and I was like wow that is absolutely beautiful and it looked from a distance it looked like somebody was putting them up you know hanging them up there um, of course as I got closer it was uh, the silhouette on uh, on both both ends of the banner um, so yeah that did tickle me when I realised so there we go lest we forget let's take it out of uh, its folder and have a decent look at it I am so so pleased that the Royal Mint have kept these um, with the proper packaging so there we go lest we forget November the 11th 2020 um, what they've done with the 50 p's you know I'm not going to bore you with but I'm absolutely disgusted with um, so I'm so so pleased that they've um, kept it the same for the five pounds that just means I'm going to probably have to buy more five pounds <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about you know this is what a coin packaging should be um, giving you all the history about why we have a minute silence um, armistice day etc let's just have a quick look at the back of the coin or the heads up of the coin Again, beautiful portrait of Queenie. And then we'll have a look at some of the inside. So, first part is the Great Unknown. So this is about the um, Senator, Cenotaph. Um, That's a beautiful picture you've got there. The Parson of the Unknown Warrior, 1920. Absolutely stunning, that is. Um, it was a real shame. I was watching a bit of a, um, a parade um, by some of the veterans on YouTube this year, um, and they weren't allowed to go down to the Senator to lay the um, poppies. Um, so here we go, this, this royal treatment, the first surface was the first memorial of its kind and was presented as a regal ceremony for the common man. So there we go, telling us more about the um, nameless hero and why it's, um, you know, why we remember it in the way that we do. Um, and then over again. A selection of bodies from the unknown warrior in France. Um, and I just think it is, uh, this why I'm so, so pleased that they have kept to the original packaging. Um, because it's important, you know, it's vital that we don't forget this part of our history. Um, it's, it's just way, way too easy. Um... I don't know, you get wrapped up in all the political political correctness and everything else um, and actually forget about um, what it really is, you know. Um, and then we go on to here. Uh, Natasha Priest, who has depicted the silhouette of a sombre soldier, much like the unknown warrior, nameless and faceless individual. So, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So I think she's done an absolutely wonderful wonderful job um so yeah congratulations to her there she has done a, a magnificent job on this coin um and then obviously the imperial war museum's records and tells records and tells the stories of those who have lived fought and died in conflict since 1914 sales of this product support the work of Imperial War Museums. Um, and I would urge anybody, if you've not visited an Imperial War Museum, um, get yourself over there and have a look at them because they're fascinating places. Um, and it, it, it's, I won't say it will, but it should certainly inspire you um, and, and make you grateful for, for what we've got today. 
um, because you know they sacrificed the ultimate to, to give us what we have today and we should be grateful for that so in my opinion they've done an absolutely wonderful job on that um, just my humble opinion obviously um, so that's it for today um, please come and join us tomorrow for Tattle Treasure and a bit of coin chat I've uh, got some information about some new coins coming out soon uh, some giveaways, some fun um, and laughter between 11 and 1 on YouTube and that's available for anybody to come across and, and have a chat uh, a lot of the giveaways are members only so please do remember that um, when you're joining the chat but anyway thanks all for tuning in keep yourself safe and hopefully see you tomorrow at 11